<laughs> Alright, Charlie. Alright, let's let's get you back there again. So I'm gonna put this right in front of you so you can see whether or not your hand goes back behind your butt. Alright? Alright, so let's do shadow swings first. So let's show how you swung uh, four minutes ago. Incorrectly. Incorrect way. The not the best way actually. Okay, so go slowly. So you're turning, your turning is okay, your racket drop is way back behind your butt. And your the butt of your racket's going back behind your butt. So go again slowly. Turn back there so your racket gets stuck back there and you have a hard time getting back forward and spinning the ball right so what's your new swing you're gonna do the same turn but you're gonna get your left it's a little bit farther to back still remember i don't want to see your elbow back behind you so if i look at this camera in this straight line from where you are i should not see your hand getting back here your elbow can get there but you're gonna feel like you're dropping it dropping your racket out to your right side right then it flips back here this way okay so drop then it flips there. Okay, so when you flip it, the racket starts. The bracket butt starts turning towards me this way. You don't want to drop it too far behind you because it's going to go here. Then it's going to flip out to the side, way that way to catch up, just because it has to. And you have to come back around this way. And you're going to have a hard time spinning it, right? If I go here, I spin like this. Like that. All right. So relax your hand. Let that racket swing freely on the right side. Okay, let's do it the wrong way first. Okay, hand goes all the way back. Slowly. Okay. Okay, one more time. Okay, now let's do, try to do it with the better way of more out to your right. Elbow goes straight back. Nice, there. Elbow straight back, drop to your right. More spin. That's your old way still. So remember, don't go here and drop like this. Here, then out, then through. Look at my shadow. Not here. Here, out, drop, through. Okay? All out to your right side. Slow down, slow down. Good. Out to your right. Good. Now try to go up over the camera. Slowly. I just changed my thing yesterday. Is it, it cracked? So here, over and up this way with spin. Okay. It's a little bit too close. A little bit too close. Elbows out. Remember, don't drop this way. This. Here, out here. Try to feel this. I want you to feel this. Elbows up and away. And it drops out here. Try to feel it dropping out to your right. Feel like it drops to the right. It's really probably gonna drop to the left, to the back for you. So drop your racket, racket strings down to the right. And so racket strings and your racket head pointing to the right, there. So here, not like this, back behind you. Here, drop this way, strings down this way, to the right, your head pointing to the right, good. Then that's where you're gonna flip like that. Yeah. A little bit more to the right. Not too far behind you. Slow it down. Then swing out to the right. So it's going to drop here. It's going to flip. Then go out to the ball to the right and then up. Okay. More out to the right. Out to the right. There. Okay. So don't drop it too far inside where you're flipping it close here. Away, then swing out and up. Okay? Your swing pass is gonna be like a circle. Semi-circle. Out, then it comes around, okay? Okay? Swing slowly. Swing slowly so you feel it. Think about... There we go. Nice and relaxed. Out and away. I want you to feel like you're going out away from your body, okay? Slowly. Okay. Let's get you back a little bit. I'll go all the way back. Here we go. Away from the body. Make space. Slowly, Charlie. Charlie, slow down. 
the more you slow your swing down, the more you can feel it and do it over and over again. All right, if you go too fast, you're not gonna be able to re reproduce this. Okay, slow it down. Turn. Yeah, got it. Turn. Not bad result. I want you to spin the ball more. By giving yourself more space here, you can do every, any different kinds of shots. If you go here, you're gonna be slapping at it all the time. That's why you're so handy with your shot sometimes. If you give yourself more space, you can spin it, you can drive it. I want you to be able to control it to drop your racket more and let the rec, uh, let the ball spin. Turn. Up. Good. Slowly. Turn. Elbow stays away. Yep. You're going back to your butt again. Here we go. Right side. More to the right. Good. Come on. Up. Too far behind you. Turn. Drop it. Good, that was good. Slow down, slow down. Elbows away, drop. That's too close again. Remember, don't drop this way. Don't feel any pressure on your shoulder. Okay, out here to the right. Slow down. Drop to the right. Good. Ready? Do you feel a little difference? No. Worse? Because you're not doing it totally correctly. You're still doing the same shot. You're almost doing the same thing still. You're still going back here. So I want you to do a shadow swing. Tell me what, which one feels more natural. Let's see. Shadow. Okay. Same exact swing. I don't want to see your elbow back behind you. There. Okay. Okay. Now do the wrong way. Okay. Now do the do a better way. Okay, so which one feels worse? Why? No, <laughs> are you serious? No, you're not, Charlie. You're stretching your shoulder more? No, you're not. Charlie, nothing's, I'm not saying anything with your shoulder. I'm saying with your drop. This is gonna make it easier for your shoulder. This, I'm not saying drop it like this. I'm saying do the exact same turn, except you don't turn so far that your elbow goes behind you. Way behind you. So you're actually putting more pressure on your shoulder by doing this. You showed it to me that you did. If I do this, less pressure, right? I'm having all my energy in my core here. And then I'm letting the racket drop with gravity. Then I'm turning here. If I do this turning too far, I'm putting stress on my shoulder. You naturally feel it right here. Way a lot of stress here. Then I have to drop it here. Then I have to turn my body so fast to even let the racket have a chance of catching back up. Then I'm tight to my body like this, right? And then I'm gonna flip it with my hands to make it spin. You see? You see the science there? This is stress. I'm also stressing this because I'm going too far with my, with my core. Then I've gotta do this. If I go here, I have space with my elbow, then I'm dropping it back here. I have space to make more speed and racket head speed from here. Then I'm away from my body going out that way, right? There's not supposed to be stress in your shoulder there. You're supposed to have more space and more freedom to let the racket just drop on its own and then you go that way. Okay, I'm not saying push out like that. I'm saying just do what you're normally doing, but stop the rotation and the elbow going back too far and let it drop. That's, even that's too far. There. Yes, there. So you get a straight line here going straight back. Here. When you stop it here, then you drop it, and then you go. All I'm saying is make it a little bit more simple. Okay? Here we go. So let's try it. Do a shadow, then a hit. Okay? Good. Good. One more time. 
Good. All right, now slow your swing down. Come a little, come halfway again, or a quarter away. Right there, right there. All right, sh shadow. And. Good. One more time. Good. Sorry. Good shadow. Good shadow. Again. Again. So when you shadow, not like this, and then this, the racket goes a little bit up here, then it drops, okay? That gives you the space to let the racket drop and pick up its speed, and then go below the ball off the ball. Okay, try one more time. Turn with the racket high, good, then you drop and go. Turn, drop, legs, then you go. Legs, there, okay? So what you're doing, sometimes you go like this and no legs, okay? Up, down, up. Okay? Ready? Up. Oh my god. Down. Not bad. Here. Ready? Up. Down. Why do you swing so hard sometimes? Gosh. Here. Up. Down. Up. Up. Yeah, Charlie. You have to practice not trying to force it with your hands. Let the stroke make the ball go deeper and with, with more height. Okay? Since you have such a poor takeaway, you're very handsy and there's not a lot of power, not a lot of height, unless you frame it or you really have to force this way, okay? If I have a better swing and the path of the racket is gonna do this, you can have a better path of the ball doing that. If I do this, it might go and spin, but it's gonna be very short, okay? Out and up. And the way to help this be better in the, the end of it, you have to have a better takeaway here so it drops and makes the beginning of the path. Okay, so focus on the, your hands stay relaxed still, but they slow down and let the, the path of your racket be better. The path of the racket has to go up this way. Okay, let's see. Go slowly. That's too far, that's going this way. Make the path uh, up, 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 up. Ah. So look where the ball's gonna go if you do that. Slow down. You get the contact. Turn your shoulders through, let the racket pass. Let the shoulders go through. That's what I want you to feel, okay? Not this, here, shoulders pass through, and then finish. Or even do this, this is okay too, but let your shoulders pass through, let the racket go through the strike zone, okay? You ready? Let's see a shadow. Again. Good. And try not to swing that way though. More out than there. Okay, let's see. Look at your strings. Look at the strings at contact. Look at your strings at contact. Where are they? Where should they be? Imagine you're going straight down the line. Let's see. Okay, go. Where are, the, where are the strings going? Where are the strings going? Go, slow down. Where are they going? Answer the question, where are they going? Look at the racket. Where are they going? They're going down, which is not, not so bad as long as you follow through. Where is it going through on the court? Left or right or straight? To the left. Okay, so let's fix that, good. So your contact point, you gotta get to square. And then you go through the ball this way and up. Okay? So focus on slowing down, feeling your stroke. Here, contact, up, and then through. You release the racket, okay? All right, let's see it. Shadow. And. Contact point. And. So if you look at, remember I said the path of your racket's gonna be out and to the right, right? Where's your path going? Where's it going? Right after contact, where are you going? To the left. So you wanna go from your drop. Coming, Charlie. Oh my God.
What is more detail? The stuff that is using? Bro, bro. We got a match ready, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sore, man. <laughs>
Perfectly normal? Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. <laughs> 